yesterday, uh, I was able to thank you again for, for holding the fort down for yeah, me. Uh, no problem. Uh, hosting a series with Livy Dunn as part of the On3 Elite Series for name, image, likeness. They, uh, On3 Sports, they brought in the top 25 or so college athletes in the entire country to hear from uh, experts on name, image, likeness, collectives, best practices, do's and don'ts, suggestions, advice. Um, and where we're headed in all of this, the expert for name, image, likeness is Livy Dunn. And I brought up on stage, and you'll hear from her and her, and her mother, Kat, that I'm looking out at the crowd, and you've got uh, Dylan Rayola, who's out there, quarterback, five-star, Georgia, class of 24, many others, that you know, two, three years from now could be on the cover for the new version of what we loved, NCAA football from EA Sports, right? She's done that, becoming the first collegiate athlete to make the cover for and, and pose for Sports Illustrated. And she dives into being the only person on the planet that can be the first to do it. And her mom also jumped in with reaction to the criticism that came her way from the New York Times. First collegiate athlete to be a part of the swimsuit edition. Um, I, I can tie that in because of the football players in here. NCAA is coming back in 2024. We've got the top athletes in the country in this room for on three in the lead series. You guys could be on the cover of that video game. To me, that is the equivalent growing up with that game. That's the equivalent for you as it would be for the SI swimsuit model. And trust me, I, I, I bought both the SI swimsuit model and college football. Uh, I love both. Um, but you are the only person on the planet that can give perspective on the window of opportunity to be a cover for a monumental global brand that is recognized as brand acknowledgement. And Sports Illustrated called you to be a part of the swimsuit edition. Yeah, I mean, Sports Illustrated was a dream come true for me. Um, but I feel like it's something that I, I manifested more into my life and worked really hard for it rather than it just came on a whim. I mean, I put in the hours with social media and they saw that and it was, I felt as though it was, they saw the message I was trying to say in my social media post that, you know, you're more than just your sport. And they, our, our vision aligned and yeah. they reached out to me and it was just such an honor and it was so fun to shoot. And I feel like all these, gentlemen have the same opportunities. Sure. I mean, it's yeah. wide open. And where did you guys go for the shoot? Puerto Rico, yeah. We went to Puerto Rico. It was in the middle of my, or right when my gymnastic season started. And they usually take six days to shoot. And they, I obviously can't take six days off during the beginning of my season. And my coach was like, you can take a day off. So I went to Puerto Rico and I prayed for good weather. And then I shot and I came back to school. I, I think it was interesting too that Sports Illustrated they were interested in her not just for her athletics, but because she had was like willing to put herself out there and she was putting out a message like supporting women in sports. Um, they came to her after like the New York Times had kind of written a hit piece on her, and mm -hmm. she was willing to like use her social media platforms to stand up for herself and stand up for women in sports. And so I think that message too is that like don't be afraid to use your platforms. Now that you're going to have this spotlight to put out a message and stand up for the things you believe in and when these opportunities will come to you friends respect that and i like that that's her mom at the end of saying like the new york times and the the, the hit piece that came out you know um the hit point, piece was basically about the the this, post on instagram this is what's wrong yeah this this Pretty girl making all the money isn't yeah. isn't what's right. But that's was, that's was kind exactly of the, the reason the, why opinion piece. That's exactly the reason why name image likeness is there, because it's a she is a brand that she would not have been able to capitalize on, unlike any other profession. Yeah. At her age, right? Uh, collegiate athletics just didn't allow it, and in her case. She has turned this into a massive success where 
she posts something, it's going to be a hit. Um, she it's going to be seen by millions of she people. She partners with a brand. It's going to be a hit. You know, 7 million TikTok followers of 4 million on Instagram. I mean, the numbers just continue to rise. But I like what her mom was saying. It was like, look, you, athletes now have a chance and an opportunity. If you build your brand, you can profit from your brand. This isn't pay for play. This isn't anything that, you know, Saban's talking about in terms of, you know, uh, a salary cap. Or anything Urban Meyer's talking about with, what? with Dan on his no show. No doubt. Th this, is this is just totally straight different. off the field, off the floor, off campus, job, career, brand. And this is why NIL is, is here and why it's a good thing. There are pitfalls to it. But she's the example of how you can profit off of a, a social media account, regardless of what it is. It's her account. It's not the university. It's not the NCAA. Otherwise, she'd have to wait until she's not competing in order to profit. It's exactly why the rule is in place, and it exists, is what she's doing. The ability to capitalize financially on her own name, image, likeness. Yep. That's the Livy Dunn story. I mean, people, you, you could not like it all you want. This is why the rule, this is, this is the purest form of what the NCAA and what the government is allowing with this, with all the court uh, sessions and everything else that led to it. Th here it is. This is the extreme success story on Livy Dunn's side. But this is exactly the way it was meant to be. Yeah. It, 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 like you said, it's not pay for play. It is. And she it, is finding a way on her own through her own social media accounts to make a lot of money because she's got a lot of followers while she's in college and participating in athletics. That, that's why the rule exists, is for Livy Dunn. And the, the, the conversation continues. So she's going into her senior year at LSU. She's 20 years old. She has a year left, but she, uh, she also. Uh, has two years left, actually, because she still has the COVID year that she could use if she wants to. But at this point, what's next? After the, the collegiate career as a gymnast is over, what is next for Livy Dunn? What is the key to continuing to grow your brand on the platform you have created and built? Because on one hand, we want to learn how you've done that, and then you want to maintain and grow. And I think there's that certainly your, your vision is much further than just Libby Dunn, LSU gymnast who's crushing it on TikTok. Yeah, I mean, this year has offered some really cool opportunities. I, I did Sports Illustrated. I did a music video. I was on Billboard New York, which is really cool. And I feel like um, to keep that going, you just got to, like I said, be consistent and also look at your engagement on your social media. That's like something that I find very important with my audience is seeing how they engage with my posts. And I feel like that's what brands look at as well. Yeah, and, and being willing to show a little bit more of yourself than just yourself. I think that, you know, the um, brands really connect with you as a person. So they like to see who you are and what your values are and what you stand for. So be willing to show that a little bit. At what point, Libby, did you stop looking at how many followers you have? You have seven, I mean, seven million on TikTok. I mean, you know, these four million plus on Instagram. Like, I, if, I I, if I reach 60,000, I'm happy. You know? <laughs> um, I mean, my head can't even wrap around those numbers. That's just insane. I guess all the work I've put in has paid off. But I don't know if I ever really looked at, like, the follower count going up. I just look at the engagement more. And seeing how my audience likes what I post, they how they engage with it, the comments, and who likes it, like the demographic of who likes my pictures and stuff. Okay, well, for you, like when you saw the number continue to rise, at what point were you like, oh my god? <laughs> I mean, it, it's it's crazy. It's it, the numbers are huge, but I do see the side of it, like. I, I do see the kid who like goes home and does it every day and I and I watched her do it when no one was watching. So the like the interesting thing about building your brand is like now it's like, well of course, you know, Libby's gonna post because she's gonna get a million likes on this. But I remember the kid who was posting when 
you know, almost, you know, with, there was very little engagement and she would post four or five times and then look at which one performed the best and try to come up with a strategy about what, you know, type of content she wanted to post. So I kind of watched her do it when people were like, back in the day when people were like, TikTok's dumb. Or yeah, this was TikTok's cringy. Because it was. It used to be like cringy. It literally used to be cringy. But I feel like being at the, <laughs> being at the forefront of TikTok, kind of when it got popular and doing what was unpopular at the time paid off in the end. So what, where are we headed with TikTok, Instagram, Twitter? What are you leaning into now? I'm really hoping to have my own, my own thing, my own product one day. I'm not exactly sure what that is yet. I'm 20, but I, I don't know yet. But so by 21, you'll have your own. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> How about that? The goal of having her own social media platform instead of just having a TikTok, Instagram, Twitter account. I told I told her uh, off air, uh, off stage. I was like, sh instead of the blue check mark, it should be a Livy check mark. Yeah, for for influencers. She is headed places, and yeah. uh, what she's going to be doing is making a lot of money. Tons. The way she's making a lot of money now, Tons. she'll continue to do that.